Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a numerical expression in terms of another one. We're given that 1 over 11 plus 2 over 13 plus 4 over 17 equals x, and we're supposed to evaluate 8 over 11 plus 7 over 13 plus 5 over 17 in terms of x. Now, if this was a multiple choice question, obviously it would be a lot easier to understand because you would see what type of structure or you know, uh, expression we're looking for. But let me just tell you that we're going to be writing the second expression as a linear function of x, like mx plus b. Obviously, when the choices are available, uh, the problem is a lot easier because you can just test all the choices. That's why I didn't give you any choices here. Anyways, let's get started. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to find the relationship between these two expressions. So for that purpose, we can call the second expression something. How about y? And now our goal is to find y in terms of x. And how can we do that? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add or subtract x and y together. And our goal is to find an integer because in the end, we are supposed to write y as a function of x but only using the integer coefficients. So y equals mx plus p, m and b are supposed to be integers. Does that make sense? Hopefully that uh, clarifies the problem a little bit more. Anyway, so here's what we're going to do. What happens if we just add these? Let's tr give it a try. We get 8 over 11 plus 9 over 13, right? And by the way, it's not 9 over 11 plus 9 over 13 plus 9 over 17. Cool. It kind of looks good because we all have nines in the numerator, but it's not very helpful because these are not integers. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to go ahead and take the x and multiply by something and then add it to the second expression. And then our goal is to find integers from uh, that addition. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the first expression, the x, by 3. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Take this expression, multiply by 3, and then obviously at the end it's going to be 3x. Let's go ahead and do it. 3 times 1 over 11, it's going to be 3 over 11. 3 times 2 over 13, that's going to be 6 over 13. And 3 times 4 is 12, 12 over 17. And obviously this is equal to 3x. Now our goal is to find y. we got two equations now that we can work with. And notice that 8 plus 3 is 11, 7 plus 6 is 13, and 5 plus 12 is 17. It's not a coincidence, obviously. It's been arranged that way. But let's go ahead and add these two equations now. So we're going to get 8 over 11 plus 3 over 11 plus 7 over 13 plus 6 over 13 plus 5 over 17 plus 12 over 17 equals y plus 3x. That's what we get. And remember, our goal is to find y in terms of x. So here's the cool part. This is why we're doing this. 8 over 11 plus 3 over 11 is 11 over 11, which is 1. So this is 1. This is also 1, similarly. And this is also 1. So we get 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. And that is equal to y plus 3x. That's such a weird y, by the way. Okay, so we have y plus 3x equals 3. Let's write it down. y plus 3x equals 3. Great. So from here, since our goal is to find y in terms of x, we can write the y as 3 minus 3x. You could also write it as 3 times 1 minus x. That also tells us if we go ahead and subtract x from 1 originally, you know, then we're going to be getting the answer if we multiply by 3. But that's kind of hard to see. Anyways, this would be the answer. And again, there are infinitely many ways to write y in terms of x. But in this case, there's only one way to do it. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.